Hello and welcome to a quick demo of the Sligo Amazon Connector. We have built our Amazon Connector on top of the Sligo Enterprise Grade Integrator Platform and it is available as a sweep bundle for a quick install. Once the Sligo Amazon Connector is configured, it will be all set to sell your NetSuite items on Amazon.com. I will now walk you through the high level flow of the Sligo Amazon Connector. The first step in selling your NetSuite items on Amazon.com is to publish your items on Amazon Seller Central. The Amazon Connector provides an item export for you to send some or all of your NetSuite items over to Amazon Seller Central for sale on Amazon.com. When people purchase your NetSuite items on Amazon.com, orders are generated in Amazon Seller Central. Periodically, you can schedule order imports from Amazon Seller Central over to NetSuite. Once these orders arrive in NetSuite, you're able to fulfill these orders just like you do as any other NetSuite sales order. Again, you can schedule periodic exports of fulfillments from NetSuite back to Amazon Seller Central so your Amazon.com customers can get up-to-date shipping and tracking information. I will now demonstrate this flow in NetSuite, Amazon Seller Central, and Amazon. So here in NetSuite, you'll see a list of items We've got this Sligo T Blue on Amazon. That's our demo demonstration item here today. And so, if I go ahead and drill into that item, you can see that there's a set of basic information for that item. There's pricing and inventory. These are all standard NetSuite features and functionality. And then you'll see, as part of the Amazon connector, an Amazon tab on every item that tells you whether or not it's an Amazon item, and gives you a whole bunch of item data information that you can send over to Amazon, as well as a series of product images, including a main image and supporting images that you can display up on Amazon. So how do you get these, this data from NetSuite over to Amazon Seller Central? Well, on the Sligo Integrator dashboard, you can come here and you'll see there's four different ways to port data over from Amazon to, sorry, from NetSuite to Amazon. And uh, product availability export is one that will give you the ability to send inventory data over to Amazon. The product data export will send item information, all those fields I showed you on the tab. The images export will send over the images. And the pricing export will send over the pricing, which sometimes can get complex. Now, Amazon requires four separate feeds for this uh, product data to sent, be sent over. And so we've structured that to map to Amazon. And of course, you can schedule these in the background to run periodically. So uh, you would never run them all for at once yourself anyway. So now that we've described how to get the listings onto Amazon Seller Central, let's show you how they look. So here's the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. And if we go over to all the listings, you'll see here is the Sligo t-shirt for sale on Amazon Seller Central. So from here, Let's go ahead and purchase the item on Amazon.com. So if I go over to Amazon, I'll see that I've got the Sligo blue t-shirt for sale up on Amazon.com. And here, I'm now able to add it to the cart. And once it's added to a cart, I can proceed to checkout. I can complete my order and uh, create an order in Amazon Seller Central. Now, I've gone ahead and set up a series of orders ahead of time. So let me go over and show you those orders now uh, as they come over via the Sligo Integrator um, dashboard. So on the order import side, go ahead and run that order import. That will take the data over from Amazon Seller Central to back to NetSuite. Let's go ahead and run that. So while this runs, Basically, up till now, we've gone through how the uh, items are sent over from NetSuite to Amazon Central, Seller Central, and then displayed up on Amazon.com. And I also showed you a purchase of how you would buy the item on Amazon.com. And now we're taking those orders that I pre-populated pre and sending them back over uh, to NetSuite. So once that's done here in real time, I'll be able to show you those items over here in NetSuite. So let me pop over to NetSuite. Here I've got a dashboard with a series of portlets. In the upper right-hand corner, 
I have an Amazon sales order portlet. So once those uh, orders come through, I'll be able to refresh here and, and see them. Still coming, it looks like. So uh, again, these uh, imports are done, uh, scheduled in the background. So they can uh, be set up any which way to run any periodicity that you need. And uh, again, I'll go ahead and refresh. And we'll see here's those three orders, or at least the first of the three has come through. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that order in NetSuite. So here you see my purchase of the Sligo t-shirt on Amazon. And now what I can do is just like any other order in NetSuite, I can fulfill it. So I go ahead and click fulfill. And during this process now, I can go into the packaging and say that this has been not only but picked, but shipped. I can put in a tracking number, two, three, four, five, six, and basically save this item fulfillment. And this will tee up the ability for me to send that data now back from NetSuite as a fulfillment to Amazon Seller Central. So let's go over here to the fulfillment export. Go ahead and run that now. And with that, once that's kicked off, that will, again, send the data back to Amazon Seller Central. So again, the flow is we send the data for the items over from NetSuite to Amazon Seller Central, sell your items on Amazon, and then once the orders come through via import, uh, back to NetSuite, you can process them. And then once the orders are ready for fulfillment, they're fulfilled and sent back from Amazon, sorry, from NetSuite back to Amazon. So, once we're done here, I'll be able to show you in the listings of the orders. So here in Amazon Seller Central, I can manage my orders. And I'll see there's three orders here. And once the uh, integrator is done sending over, which it now is, I'll be able to refresh that page and show you that this order did indeed ship down here, the first of the three orders. So again, thank you very much uh, for your time for that demo. And let me now close up with a review of the flow. So we go here. So um, again, recall that the first step to selling your items on uh, Amazon.com from NetSuite is to publish your items over on Amazon. You do that via the item export. And when people purchase items on Amazon, orders are created in Amazon Seller Central. You can then export those over to NetSuite fill them in NetSuite as you would any other order, and send them back to Amazon Seller Central, where we can see uh, fulfillment information and shipping over on Amazon.com. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to working with you in the future.